Hey there. So this is just a really quick tutorial to give you a little tour around the content planner and show you how it works. So I went ahead and just plugged in some information here to use as an example for an upcoming blog post. So I have my title here. If I double click in the date cell, I can then use a drop down calendar to select the, the deadline or publication date. In this drop down, I can choose which category it's for, and then I can fill in some of these other sections. And then as I'm working through the creation process, I can go in here and check off each one of these and you'll see the progress bar over here complete as you work through it. And then same thing with promoting it as I share it on different platforms. I can go ahead and cross these off and the same thing, you'll see the progress bar filling up here. If you want to be able to change any of these titles, if other things would make more sense for your business, you want to change these emojis, etc. You can go ahead and make those changes. Just do, I would just change it in January and then just copy this whole section and paste it into each month like that. Um, the other thing is you can add a link here once you've published the post if you want so that it makes it easy to jump over and review it or take a look at it on your website, which is nice. One more thing to note is that there's a tab titled tips, and this is where you're going to find some additional information for getting started with um, the spreadsheet. So this has the steps typed out for you, um, how to set dates, how to edit that category drop down if different ones would make more sense. And then it also has information on like how I use each different category to kind of stay on track with my content calendar. Really quickly, I'll show you how to change these categories. So if you would like, these drop down options to be different because maybe you have different topics for your blog or um, you need 10 categories instead of five. All you're going to do is select those, then go to data, data validation, and all you're going to do is change them in here. And you're just going to have each category listed and separated by a comma. And then before you close out of this, hit control copy to copy this, hit save, and then you're just going to go through each month and select it, data validation, and paste those new categories into here and save. And that'll update it in each month. So if you want those changed, that's how you do that. And I think that's all you really need to know for getting started. Pretty much all of the um, information that you need to know is on that tips tab.